Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Matibay students. At syempre, welcome to Matibay class. Ayan. Mas bongga kesa sa kanina. Okay, ituloy, 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 ituloy na natin. Let us proceed with our module 22. Isko, malapit-lapit na tayo, mga sa finals. Uh, wala tayong 21 dahil? Exam. Exam. So, 22 tayo, and it is all about hypothesis testing for the population mean. Okay. That is module 22. Yes. Okay, and of course, we have two objectives. Okay, ang aning unang objective is what? To distinguish tests concerning comparison between the population mean and sample mean. Oh, my comparison. And next, is to solve problems that involves hypothesis testing for the population mean. Oh, okay. Diba? Yan na yan. <coughs> Ayan. Hypothesis testing for the population mean. Of course, in dealing with hypothesis tests for population mean, we have three cases. Okay. Yeah, three cases may arise. First is the population standard deviation is known. Okay. Second one is the population standard is Ulit. The population <laughs> standard deviation is not known or unknown and the population standard deviation is not known but sample size exceeds 30. Okay, Ayan, so lumagpas na raw siya sa 30. Yan ang tatlo natin kailangan i-test or tatlong um, And problems. of course, in dealing problems, we have our formulas. Yes. Okay? Now, hypothesis, case number one. When standard deviation is known, okay, so titingnan natin kung ang U or mean ba is greater than or less than, okay, and of course the test statistic is A is equal to mean minus mean oh, or over standard deviation. <laughs> sorry, na pin that. Uh, let, let. Oh, yeah. Okay, Z is equal to sample mean minus mean all over standard deviation divided by the square root of n. Okay, so take note that when standard deviation is known, ito po ang formula natin na gagamitin. Oh, pare para lang naman yata. Yes, yung symbol lang napalitan. Oh. Next, standard deviation is not known. Ito rin po ang ating gagamitin. Sabi ko nga kanina, yung S lang po, yung symbol lang yung napalitan. Oh. And third, when standard deviation is not known but n is uh, greater than 30. So, ito na po ang ating formula. Gagamitin. And of course, mas maiintindihan niya ng ating mga anak through example. through example. And because of that, let's now proceed on our examples. Ay, meron pa pala. Ayan, meron pang isa. <laughs> so, yung values natin, actually alam na nila yan, pero i-remind lang natin sila. Mm -hmm. So, for one-tailed, ito po yung mga values natin. So, screenshot na, isulat na sa separate sheet ng notebook para mas madali ang mag-scan. And, ito naman po ang ating values for two-tailed. Okay. Let's proceed with our examples. Okay, let's have problem number one. A random sample of 100 recorded deaths in the Philippines during the past year showed an average lifespan of 71.8 years with a standard deviation of 8.9 years. Does this seem to indicate that the average lifespan today is greater than 70 years? Use a 0 0.05 level of significance. Parang in that particular hirap. problem, hirap. Mm -hmm. In that particular problem, ma'am, let's have our steps, okay? The first step natin, ma'am, is to find null and alternative hypothesis. Take note, na kapag sinabi natin alternative hypothesis, we are referring to ha. ha. At kapag sinabi natin null hypothesis, we are referring to Ho. Ho. Take note mga anak, kapag sinabi nating alternative hypothesis, okay, meron po siyang kinalaman sa problem. There is a significant, a significant relationship, relationship between, between, the, between problem. the problem or between the statement. Yeah. Okay? When we say ho, there is non-significant relationship on the problem. Walang kinalaman. Okay? So since ang problem natin dito is, ano sabi niya dito sa problem natin ma'am? Does this seem to indicate that the average lifespan is greater than 70 years? Ang ha natin, since ang ha is there is a significant relationship, it should be greater than 70, 70 years. Yes. Nagat mo, ma'am? Yeah. Okay, dahil yun ang ating problem. There is a significant relationship. Kapag ho, walang kinalaman sa problem, is dapat See. equal to 70 years. years. Kasi nga walang kinalaman. 
Tama ma'am, okay? Ibig sabihin, si Ho at saka si Ha, contradict, contra hindi sila oh, nagpaparehas. Hindi sila nagpaparehas, okay? So, go on with the problem. Ang problem natin dito is, does this seem to indicate that the average life span today is 70 is greater than 70 years. So our ho, since ang ho again, ay ha again, is there is a significant relationship greater than 70. Since walang kinalaman ng ho, equal to 70 years. Yes. Okay? So let's have our level of significance, Ma'am Tintin. Okay. So for number two, we have the level of significance. Manggagaling pa rin po yan sa problem natin. And based dun sa given problem, our level of significance is 0 0.05. Okay. Level of significance is 0. 05, and we have our appropriate te test, dalawa yun ma'am? Yes, pag sinabing appropriate test, titignan natin kung uh, one-tailed one ba siya or two-tailed, paano natin siya ma-identify? One-tailed siya kapag directional, ibig sabihin, meron siyang directions na binigay, ano yung mga yon? It can be greater than, less than, more than, more than uh, lower than or anything na merong kinalaman sa directions. Above kapag sinabi, or below. Yeah, yeah. Kapag sinabi, positive or negative, mm -hmm. pwede rin. Pwede. Pag sinabi namang two-tailed, it is non-directional. Walang binigay na direction. Okay. So, since so based sa given problem, greater. sabi niya greater than, ang direction niya is greater than, ibig sabihin, we will be using one-tailed one -tailed. test. Oh, liwanag yun, mama. Sobrang liwanag, sir. Nakakasilaw. Okay? Let's now determine our critical region. region. Third is to determine the critical region. Take note, mga anak. Lagi namin sinasabi ni Ma'am Titin, hindi mo perfect ang ating activity sheet. Yeah. So, just follow our discussion. In determining our critical region, okay, we will be using table. table. Okay? We have critical value of Z, level of significance. Ito po yung 0 0.10, 0 0.05, 0 0.025, and 0 0.01. We have our test type, one-tailed or two-tailed. Sabi natin kanina, mga anak, ang ginamit natin is one-tailed. And okay? 0.05. And 0 0.05. Okay? Using our table, we will be having the critical region of 1 point Z should be ano ano greater, greater than greater than, tama? Bakit greater than, Ma'am Tintin? Finalaw natin yung ha, since yun okay. ang may kinalaman sa atin. May kinalaman. Ha is greater than 1.645 Ma'am Tanong, bakit greater than? Kasi po, yung saha natin, greater than 70. Yun ang may kinalaman kasi sa ating problem or At ang definition statement. ni alternative is, there, there is, is a significant, significant relationship. relationship. Okay, so let's have our step number 4, Mang Tintin. So for step number 4, let's proceed with computing the Z value using the formula. Z is equal to X with a bar minus mean sub-zero. Ibig sabihin po niyan initial. is our initial uh, initial Mean all over standard deviation all over square root of N. Again, sa lahat ng problem, you can always rely doon sa given word problem natin. So, we should analyze it yes, properly. Yes, analyze natin. Based doon sa given problem, we have our X with a bar is equal to, ilan po? Our average is 71.8. Our initial mean is equal to 70. Our standard deviation is equal to sana. Standard deviation is equal to 8.9 and of course, our sample and size equal is equal to 100. 100. Again, makikita po natin yan lahat dito. We just need to analyze it ng mabuti. Since kompleto na lahat yan, let's substitute to our formula. Z now is equal to 71.8 minus our initial Mean is 70 all over 8.9 all over square root of 100. Let's compute using our calculator. Kung papaano ko siya sinulat, ganun din dapat ang pagkaka-input sa ating calculator. So we have 71.8 minus 70. Ay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Minus 70 all over fraction siya, so 8.9 all over square root of 100. Hmm. Tapos malino. Tama. <laughs> Is equal to syntax error. Ayan, 2.0 2.02. So, it is equal to 2.02. Okay, so meron na tayo ngayong Z value. Isn't it, Ma'am Tintin? Yes. Okay, let's proceed on our next step, Ma'am Tintin. Let's decide whether to accept 
or reject. Let's now decide whether to accept or reject our ho. Okay? In determining whether to accept or reject the ho, we need to go back to our step number 3. Is it ma'am Tintin? Yeah. Okay? Sabi natin sa step number 3, our critical value is Z should be greater than 1.645. Tapos nung kinuha natin si Zay natin, ang lumabas is 2.02. The big question is, is 1.645 is greater than 2.02? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Okay? Since yes, at sinabi natin na si Ho natin is equal, okay? Hindi siya equal. Tama? Mas tumaas siya, ibig sabihin, i-reject natin si Ho. Ho. Okay? Any further explanation, ma'am? Ayun, so gaya ng sinabi mo kanina, napatunayan natin na yung Z is greater, greater than, than 1.645. Mas mataas yung nasolve natin kesa kay 1.645. Since true ang naging statement natin, true nga na si Ha is greater than 1.645, ire-reject natin si Ha. Ire-reject natin oh. si Ho, i-accept natin si Ha. Ha. Question, Sir Jason, bakit mo in-accept si Ha? Napakaliwanag, okay? That our Z is greater than 1.645 Na compute na natin dito is 2.02 Sabi ni Ha natin should be greater than 70 years Kaya po natin in-accept si Ha Okay, di ko na alam Conclusion Okay, let's now move on to conclusion Okay, in determining our conclusion Go back na naman tayo kay step number 1 Okay, since ang in-accept natin ay si Ha Okay, in-accept natin si Ha Therefore, the average lifespan. The average life span. Span today. Today, today is is greater than seventy seventy years. Congratulations! Okay. Kung ano po ang inagzep natin, okay? Yun po ang ating magiging conclusion. Okay, any question man, Tintin? Wala na po. Okay, that's all for our topic. Okay, lesson number 22. It's all about hypothesis testing for, for the, the population. population. Okay, so that's it mga anak. Always remember na makaka-experience tayo ng hirap. Pero lahat yan ay kakayanin natin dahil tayong lahat ay... Hashtag Matibay! Paalam everyone! Goodbye mga anak ko!